Glues are used all over the world for many purposes and many different applications. Big industry, small industry, your home, my home, our hobbies. We use it for all kinds of things. Usually it's fast, quick, and it gets the job done without screws. However, I've got four glues that I commonly use and we're gonna test them right here in this video. The glues I have are Shoe Goo, I have E6000, I have Gorilla Glue Clear Grip, and Amazing Goo. Now these glues are all pliable, they tend to flex a little bit, but they all hold really well. I'm gonna test these in a rip test. This is a one inch round piece of nylon. I'm gonna glue this, set it on, and this is gonna set for a certain amount of time. One hour, two hour, four hour, eight hour, and 12 hour, and then finally 24 hours. That's the curing time that we have for all these glues. And we're gonna see which one is stronger at each time interval. So the way we're gonna test this, gonna be glued here and I'm gonna add weights to the end of it and we're gonna rip them off. That's why I call it the rip test. Take a look. This is the setup I'm using. These are the glue arms right here. They'll simply glue right onto there for the given time. And it's about four and a half inches from here out to here. That's the leverage. That's one inch round. Here are my weights. There's my hook. These are the ounces right here. 13 and a half ounces, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, and for some reason, 5.7. We're gonna set this thing up and get this test underway. 13.5 ounces. Amazing goo. Shoe goo's kind of moving a little bit. Gorilla glue. Well, all right. Gorilla glue is down. E6000. All right, time to get a little heavier. We're at 19 ounces. Oh, amazing goop fell right off. Shugu held it for a little bit. Let me get that off of there. And yeah, let's see if E6000 is gonna hold. Wow. At the one hour mark, I gotta give it to Shugu and E6000. We are two hours into it. Same 19 ounces we ended with at the one hour mark. Amazing goop, did not hold. Gotta reset this. Shugu was also, well, it somehow held. That one, nope. E6000. E6000 held. So now we're between these two. Let's bump up the weight. Here we have 24 and a half ounces. No chance. You know, the E6000 held on just a little while longer. So, that's your win. Four hours, 21 ounces. Amazing goop, got it. Shoe goo, got it. Well, um, <laughs> Gorilla Glue. Held on, E6000, good. Time to add some weight. 24.5 ounces on here now, let's see. Amazing goop held. Shoe goo, down. Gorilla glue, down. Get this on here.
E6000. Good. Time to add more weight. 27 ounces. Amazing goop. Down. E6000. There's your winner. Wow. We're going to go straight to 27 ounces. Amazing goop. Looks pretty good. Shoe goo. Hmm, good. Gorilla glue. No. Let's check E6000. Good. Time to add some weight. We're now at 38 ounces. Amazing goop. Fell at 38 ounces. I've got to restack my weights. Shoe goo held. Barely. It barely held. E6000 held. Those are both stressed. Time to add more weight. 43 and a half ounces. Whoa, that didn't even try. E6000 for the win again. We're going to start with 38 ounces. We ended with 43 at the 8 hour mark. Let's see what we get here. Amazing goop holds. Shoe goo holds. Gorilla glue failed. They kept all my weights on this time. And let's see. E6000. Held. Time to add weight. 43.5 ounces. That's what we ended the last one with. Amazing goop failed. Oh boy. Let me restack all that. There we go. 43.5. Shoe goo holds. E6000. Holds. Time to add some weight. I found a 4.5er right there, so we're at 48 ounces. All right. I got to restack my weights. They're all back on. E6000. Ooh, that was a close one. E6000 or Amazing Goop. I think I'm going to give it to both of them on this one. I was wrong on that. Not Amazing Goop. It was the Shoe Goo and E6000. I picked up the wrong one. Anyway, those are your two winners for this round. We are at 24 hours. I made a new hook. We're at 49 ounces. Let's see what we've got. Amazing Goop, very solid. Shoe Goo, very solid. Gorilla Glue, very solid. Oh, oh, that moved a little bit. Maybe not as solid as I hoped. V6000, very solid. I gotta find some more weight. Added nine more ounces with this spool of solder. So we're at 58 ounces. Amazing Goop, holding solid. Shoe Goo, holding solid. Gorilla Glue, down. E6000, 
holding solid. I need more weight. We are now at 69 ounces. Amazing goop. Down. Shoe goo. Everything is still on there. Good. E6000. Well, at the 24 hour mark, shoe goo takes the win. Let's see how much it can hold. We're at 80.4 ounces. Wow. Oh, there it went. Okay. But still, at the 24 hour, Shugu takes that win. Well guys, what do you think? I've got to tell you, there's one glue that really disappointed me throughout the entire range, every test, and that was the Gorilla Glue Clear Grip. It just was not up to par with the other three. Next on the list was Amazing Goop. This one done quite a bit better, but didn't quite take the top. The two consistent winners were E6000 and Shugu. The E6000 seemed to set up quicker and stronger, but in the end, at 24 hours, the Shugu took the win on that. So basically, for this particular test, these are the two winning glues. Take your pick. They're both awesome. And you can get these in the stores or online, eBay or Amazon. Guys, hopefully you liked this video and thank you all for watching. If you guys like what you see, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. If you really, really like what you see, consider clicking on that join button down below. With that, you can actually become a channel member. Members get early viewing of many of the videos and, you know, a little bit more personalized. Guys, thank you all for watching.